each week in conjunction with the Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program, we recognize a role model student from somewhere across the state of Ohio. Today we head to Stowe Monroe Falls High School to meet Nate Boozer. Nate, a football star, a baseball star, and a basketball star for the Bulldogs. Also uh, an outstanding student. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program is proud to salute Nate Boozer from Stowe Monroe Falls High School, this week's Shining Star. The Stowe Monroe Falls Bulldogs finished the regular season with 20 wins and ranked third in the state in Division I in Ohio. All good teams have a guy that will do whatever he can on the court to help the team win. Nate Boozer is that guy for the Bulldogs. I'm not more of a guy that's going to show up on the stat line where I'm going to drop 20 points a game or all these crazy stats. I'm more, I would consider myself more of a dirty work kind of guy, just diving for loose balls, playing great defense, getting rebounds, more of that kind of guy, just being there to help our, my team out, teammates out. They all have different roles that they, they embody and they embrace, uh, and I, that there really isn't any jealousy um, between the teammates, and that's what's beautiful about this group. Um, you know, like, like Nate mentioned, his job wasn't to score points, but he's a valuable member to what we do. He sets screens and allows those guys to get baskets and things like that. He's a good passer. The success and mindset for Boozer to do whatever he could was set in motion during football season. Boozer plays offense and defense for the Bulldogs football team that was very young this year and won only one game. It was hard because I've never really dealt with the season like losing season like that and it kind of hit me where like it helped in basketball like yeah you're gonna have times of like losing and not a lot of success but it's it's how like you're gonna come back from it are you gonna sit down and take the punches or are you gonna get back up and fight back and I feel like that kind of took me into the basketball season like I don't want to have another losing season like that ever again. Nate's a great kid and we've got a lot of great kids and and he really is a a, a motivational spark for our kids he gets you know it can be pretty nervous before a game, and, and he's great in the locker room. I got getting kids fired up, and they kind of shake off the nervousness because uh, Nate gets around and gets everybody riled up, and they, they start laughing and giggling a little bit, and then they, they, you can just see the, the weight go off everybody's shoulders, and now they go, okay, now we got a job to do. Boozer was a respected senior leader for the young Bulldogs and will be continuing his football career in college. Basketball really is like my favorite sport, like growing up. Like, my number one, but my freshman year, I was really skinny, and I just said, like, you know, I like football. Let me try it out. So I tried it out, and as time came on, I gained more weight, got a lot stronger in the weight room, and kind of just became like a second love to me where I really loved football, and I really want to do that in the future, and that's why I picked football. Nate decided to play his college football close to home. He'll be attending Walsh University, and he already knows what he'll be majoring in. Special education. Why? Um... Kind of like in the basketball and football situation, me helping other people, like, it kind of gives them, like, the classroom. Like, we have a class in, at Stowe called Teammates where you can help people with special needs and help them either in art or gym throughout their day and stuff. And that kind of me taking that my junior year really, like, opened, like, my eyes to the future, like, what I want to do. Like, I love helping people and making them smile makes me smile at the end of the day, and I really enjoyed that. A three-sport star for the Bulldogs, Boozer's actions speak louder than his words. He decided one of his teammates from this class would really enjoy going to a formal dance. We were in art teammates and I had made a poster in the class before and just said like, hey Chloe, like she was a big, she cheers on the freshman cheer team. And I said, hey, would you want to go to winter formal on a big sign and stuff? And gave it to her and she ended up saying no the first time, but I convinced her and she eventually said yes, but ended up taking her to the dance and it was a really great time. Just being able to spend time with her. Boozer's passion for majoring in special education is very evident and it has deep roots. My uncle, he actually um, has cerebral palsy and we don't see him much because he lives in Arizona, but when he comes down every now and then I see him and ever since I was younger, I always loved helping him around the house and stuff, getting his wheelchair, up steps and just all little things like that, and that kind of motivated me to go into this career. And my mom also went into special education and got a degree in that, and that also just motivated me. And she always said, like, treat others how you like to be treated. It's like the golden rule, and if I wasn't going to do that, I'd be like, it wouldn't be like a good day for me. So I was always trying to make people smile at the end of the day.
If you know a student who deserves recognition, we want to hear about them, and you can nominate them completely online. Go to ohiolottery.com, find the About section, click on Partners in Education. There you will see links to nomination forms. Nominate that student as an academic all-star, and they could end up being featured as our next shining star.